been quite a while, hasn't it, Hi. Charlotte? We've been uh, yeah. working at home for such a long time now, it seems, um, over the yeah. past year. Long time and, now, uh, yeah. It would be great to finally get back to the office at some point, hopefully. Yeah, uh, definitely. All of, us, all of us in the team. Um, I think it's a great opportunity to talk about uh, what we've both done uh, over the past three years of being at Pell Fishman. I think firstly we should touch on what have we what have we actually studied over the past three years and where have we studied uh, during this uh, period of time so, if you'd like to yeah. have a talk about that. Yeah so we've just finished at um, college which is uh, the college we went to was the London Design and Engineering UTC. How did you find it there? Um, I think I think it was a very good uh, experience over the three year course. Um, we, I studied uh, a level three national diploma in civil engineering, um, which is I've, I've now thankfully passed the other day. So I'm now uh, qualified Congratulations. as a civil engineering uh, technician um, at LD, um, which is it was a it was a fantastic experience to really uh, get an understanding of what really governs uh, my day-to-day -day work um, and to hopefully build on that further um, now that I've undertaken a uh, second apprenticeship at um, the uh, at London South Bank uh, University which is excellent um, and yourself how are you uh, how did you find it so um I found that at the start of it we definitely learn a lot like we covered a lot throughout the three years and that kind of it really um it really helped with work and having the what well, we learn at college and then doing um putting into practice what we've learned at work I thought that was a really good balance so that aspect of things was definitely really good and the format of it like how we had the exams in the first year and then the assessments and assignments I thought that was really a really good way of doing it and yeah now that we passed our endpoint assessments and have started at South Bank Uni I think it's a big change it's very different but I think it'll be a good experience. Yeah so now that we're we're both undertaking a uh, bachelor's engineering uh, civil engineering uh, TAC design um, which will allow us to both hopefully uh, work towards being uh, independent designers um, in the in in time when we are fully qualified um so talking a bit more about the uh, apprentice uh, route what actually attracted you into the world of engineering so um when i was in school i always really enjoyed maths and physics and the problem so the problem solving aspect of it all and i i think this is what led me to, into engineering and I remember when I was um, looking into what A-levels to do, there was a lady who came around in our careers fair and she worked in civil engineering and she basically inspired me to start in this career really because she described how she got into it and what she did and that really fascinated me. And then I actually did some work experience at her company and mm. doing that, that solidified the fact that that's what I wanted to do so that's how I got into it really um, and then basically what attracted me to it is the creative aspect of things and being able to actually make a difference and look back on yeah. things and be like I was able to do that uh, so I think that's really what inspired me so what about you? Oh when I was younger I was I was fortunate enough to uh, grew up in London so from a very young age I've been able to see all these vast and grand structures being uh, built and one that particularly comes to mind is the Shard so when I was younger I believe I was around eight or nine or so so 2009 um, I was able to watch a lot of uh, BBC documentaries about the construction of the Shard which really built my initial um, love for engineering and as I progressed further uh, throughout life I was exposed to a lot more um, aspects of what engineering really can do for society so how it, you can use prob your problem solving skills and through logical methodical uh, approaches uh, come up with solutions to issues that not only benefit um, well, society but the, the wider world also. So um, 
how have you found being an apprentice um, during the lockdown and building further upon that? How have you found it at Pell Fisherman? So really, um, I think for us, because we'd already been at Pell Fisherman for a year and a bit when lockdown mm. actually happened, I didn't find it that challenging really because we'd settled into the company and we knew what we had to do and like we had our team to support us and have our calls and everything so I don't think that really impacted as much as it would have would have if we'd have only just joined the company I think that would have been a bit different because we wouldn't have had the experience and um, it would just be like completely new not in the office completely just challenging but because we had already like been yeah it it wasn't too bad I didn't think and just because having like you could still talk to your team whenever you needed to and that really helped um and being an apprentice at Pell Frischman I think it's been a really good opportunity and basically everyone just provides you support like if you need if you have a problem with something you can go to anyone and they'd help you with it so I really like how Pelfrishman kind of feels like a family it's yeah. really good yeah I, I definitely agree with that it's a very very friendly environment where you can talk to anyone um, and seek support in any issues you have and learn a lot that's um, definitely why my myself I'm a big advocate for apprentices uh, well the apprentice route I should say um, yeah. es- especially where you can g- join a company work alongside uh, individuals who have gained years and years of experience in engineering, um, which allows you to accelerate your learning at a faster pace, in my view. Um, And also you get a real um, involvement in these large infrastructure projects, uh, which have a large benefit to society. And you you, you feel as if your work is really having an impact on the world, which is, um, like I said, why I'm a, a huge advocate for uh, the apprentice route. Uh, during lockdown, it was a bit challenging though. Um, at, at, at the beginning, it is obviously it's a brand it's a brand new uh, experience uh, for every single person, yeah. really, because we, we we've never really well, we've no. never had a, a global pandemic before, have we? We've never been uh, lock, locked down for such large periods of time, yeah. which definitely um, has opened um, a lot of new. Uh, ways in which we we were now able to work so through remote uh, work yeah which allows us to be um, a lot more flexible Um, but yeah it's over the over time um, I have adapted um, myself uh, to working at home Uh, but I I do look forward to returning to an office environment where we can we can be working around every single um, body who we haven't seen in gosh over a year and a half now. Yeah, it's almost long it's, uh, time. It's, it's it's been a very 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 long time, and um, I, I I look forward to the end of it. Um, so, yeah. leading on a bit further, uh, do you have any tips uh, for people that would be looking to enter the uh, engineering industry? Um, I think really, um, you've got to be aware of the commitment you're making by entering an apprenticeship because you've not only got to deal with what what you're learning at college or uni but you've also got to deal with the work you're getting uh like the project work at work and the work side of things you've Mm. got to be able to balance this and I think it's really important that you're able to plan your time like for me it really helped I'd set deadlines for myself and prioritized like my um college side of things and then my work side of things and because college is one day a week and so is uni I think it's quite um, easy to separate the two so I think it's important that you really like you're organized and you plan your time and you know what you're you are signing up for something you love and it's definitely what you want to do Um, I also think it's really important that if you're wanting to get into engineering it's important that you be yourself and definitely yeah I think that's I think that's really important yeah definitely yeah uh, my myself if I if I was to add to that I would definitely encourage anybody who is um, looking to undertake um, any uh, any uh, apprenticeship in engineering to definitely go and 
to attend a careers fair they are ex- uh, excellent opportunities that was what it was like for me like when I attended those careers fairs that's what solidified the fact that that's what I wanted to do so I think definitely like go to careers fairs and work experience as well like if you're thinking about engineering then getting some work experience in the industry will not only like help you know that's what you want to do but it's also really like I think companies really like if you have work experience it's a great yeah great it's it's a great great, it's a great it's a great uh, tool uh, to to definitely have next Friday um, are you looking forward to the uh, apprentice of the year awards and could you talk a a little bit about that event Um, yeah I'm I'm really excited for that event because I think it's a great opportunity for us it's like being shortlisted as finalists for the apprentice of the year I think that's a really good opportunity and um it'll it'll just be nice to like celebrate our achievements and yeah I just think it'll be a great opportunity and um like the process that we've gone through to get to this point I think has been a really good learning experience for us like I've never really um like this was the first opportunity to like give a presentation on a topic that I find particularly interesting like sustainability and climate change I think it was a great way to get our ideas across and I really enjoyed doing that what do you think about that um yeah I thought I thoroughly enjoyed uh, the the presentation at the uh, EMAP headquarters uh, present present being able to present in front of four judges um on how I myself view the the whole uh, issue of climate change and uh, and pre- really pre- being able to present um, uh, my personal uh, solutions towards these issues is is it was a very is a very um, great opportunity and one that I uh, look forward to uh, finding the outcome of uh, very shortly um, yeah. I think it'd be it would be a great opportunity um, for my, not only my, myself um, but also uh, the wider world um, having having the opinion of the uh, younger engineers um, to add to, uh, to to add to the voice of a collective um, is definitely very important and we, we should uh, all seek the uh, a collective um, approach to tackling these issues uh, which are well, not only going to affect us today but our future generations in, uh, in, yeah. in decades to come um, it's, it's paramount paramount that we uh, deal with uh, these um, yeah these topics uh, appropriately yeah I think um in the process of doing this I've learned a lot of ways that we can make a difference and um mm. not just like um it's just small things really like afterwards if we want to develop this engineers uh, this apprentice forum where we can discuss these ideas I think that would be really good being able to uh build a build build a power base as such um where not only uh young apprentices uh, engineers across corporate uh corporations um, and such who can work as work together to uh, really really grasp the issue and um, tackle it head on it's been great talking to you about all of this really yeah it's been great um i hope to catch up with you uh soon